Hello folks, welcome. Debian 12 Bookworm, XF CE Desktop 4.18. Uh, today I'm going to talk about adding and removing users. Uh, if you have a single system in your household and you're trying to uh, well share the computer, we can create a user that way they have their own uh, bookmarks on their web browser and their own home folders. Uh, then I'm going to also talk about that tool up here that I have on the panel to monitor the disk usage. And that tool could be useful either if you don't have multiple users. And I'm also going to talk about if you do not have the add extra users uh, tool, how to install it. So again, filming in 1080, welcome. Got this uh, wallpaper at wallpaperswide.com. Their logo is actually printed at the bottom. I thought it was a cute wallpaper to play with today. Uh, so anyways, this tool is currently 195 gigabytes and change. I'm going to actually remove it. So the other thing that I did to the panel itself, I made it a little bit bigger. Um, mine is currently set for 36 and again, I'm filming in 1080. So right click panel, add new scrolling down to free space checker, monitor free disk space. If I hit the add, it puts it in the corner and then from there you can move it. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to drag it to the top and drop it. This tool is configurable and I'll show you the configuration. Right click on the number, hit properties. So the first thing you'll see is the mount point. So that symbol represents root. That's what Linux is all about. Everything starts at root. So the warning limit is set for 8% as in default. I'm going to put that at 6 and hit enter. So at 6%, it should flag me with a warning limit when the disk runs down to 6% of usage. Hopefully that won't happen. And if it's uh, small enough, 2% should be good enough for the urgent. If you don't want the gauge on the side or the meter, you can turn that off. If you don't want to display this button, then you can turn that off. I do recommend those though. Display size, I don't know why you'd want to turn that off and only look at the meter. Uh, I think this comes in handy. Now, since I made the panel a little bit, well, taller, I can accommodate and put a name in there. I'm going to call it my disk. It's just fluff. All right. Now, if you click that, this should open this to root. And you can see free space says 195 and change, 195 and change, gigabytes. All right, now I'm going to pull this down and uh, love that logo. So this is Thunar 418.4. Our user for today is dTester, like Debian tester. 195 and change, 195 and change. File system, master home folder. I have several users here. So the one with the house is the current logged in user. That's the same as this name. But we also have Bob, Brad, Mary, and Tom. So if you need to add additional users on your system, I'll show you how to do that next. And when you have this many users, that tool is good for the primary users to stare at for a while <laughs> in case they start using too much disk space. Now, I'm going to open up the application finder tool. You can certainly go through the menu too. But if you type in user and you do not see the tool for users and group, that means it's not installed. And I can tell you quite a few of you folks will not have this installed. So I'm going to erase the field and type in SY and talk about Synaptic Package Manager. I'm going to open that up, sign in, and then click the magnifying glass for search. I like to use name. Normally this defaults to description name, but I like name. So type in gnome dash system and hit enter. Providing you're on the same version I am, that's why I gave you system information when I started this, you should see three entries in here and this is the one that you're interested in. If it doesn't have a green box or whatever the legend of your system is, um, then right click and mark it for install and that hit apply. 
And one of the tools that it installs is users and groups. So you can see there's other stuff in here. Once the tool is installed, you should be able to click the app finder and type in user and then hit enter. And now we're into the user settings. So moving to the top, Bob is a desktop user. That means restricted. Brad is also a restricted user. Uh, Dtester is the, well, the admin person or the, uh, the person that is uh, really maintaining this computer. So Mary is a desktop, Tom is a desktop user. So we're gonna do an add. We can also do a delete. If we wanna delete Tom, I get, um, please put in your password thing, and that would be not that password for Tom, but Dtester's password, because he has the authority to, well, do changes. Now it's gonna ask you a question. Do you wanna keep the files or remove it? I'm gonna do delete, because there's really no files. These are all demo, okay? Now I'm gonna add. So uh, if you come in from scratch, let's do this from scratch. So user, enter, add, request a password. Again, it's dtester's password in my case. And now create a user. Um, I'm gonna say Larry, just lowercase for the username and you can see the convention and hit okay. Password, I don't recall what the minimum field is, but I, it's somewhere, I think it's five or eight characters. I'm just gonna put in something that's more than five. Okay, and now we have Larry, but he's set for custom. Well, I'm gonna change Larry's account type into desktop user. And when I do that, Larry can perform common tasks, but Larry cannot install software or change or affect system settings for all users. So admin, on the other hand, uh, you, you can guess what that can do. All right, so generally this guy is in charge of this computer. Now that Larry has been added, we can open up the file manager and take a peek to see how many users we have on the system. So one, two, three, four, five. So a lot of times when you have uh, multiple users uh, in this capacity, it's important to take a, uh, keep an eye on the drive, especially if they're small hard drives. And uh, some of the things you may wanna pass on to the other users uh, that are using your computer, uh, to maybe to Bob, Brad, and Larry and Mary, is to, um, well, dump their trash can once in a while, <laughs> and then also clean out their web browser cache occasionally. And that should keep uh, some of that uh, file usage a little bit down. But more importantly, that is uh, in your face kind of tool. And this will be good to have, you know, especially if you have that many users on the machine. Thank you for watching.